What's up, YouTube? I know a lot of you people follow me on uh, Instagram at this50go, and you're probably wondering what's going on with my car. Because a couple months ago, I posted on there uh, on my way to the Fast and Fall car show. My front splitter got ripped off on the uh, on the freeway doing about 70, 75 miles per hour. To make a long story short and a short story long, I thought I just had a blowout. But when I pulled over on the side of the freeway, all my tires were good. And uh, my front splitter was missing. And uh, uh, the fender liner, wheel wheel liner, flew off my car too. So I thought I left it somewhere back on, uh, way back on the freeway where, so I got back in my car and drove off a couple of feet and I heard this loud noise. So I was dragging it underneath the, um, underneath the car. So here's my new eBay bumper. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is 50 go. Don't drink and drive. Whole front sp splitter busted off on the freeway. And it's underneath my car. So I went back and got my splitter in the daily. This isn't really that bad. I mean, on the top one, like I said, most of the damage is uh, it just ripped off out of my bumper. But where it bolts onto the side, that's gone. So I don't know if I can fix that. And then the, the rods just pulled out right there. So it ain't really too bad. Maybe the bottom piece could be saved. I don't know. So we got the new bumper in today. This is how it got came shipped. And when you buy it, make sure you get the premium shipping. Because I heard people who get the um, economy shipping, it just comes folded up in a box. So make sure you get the premium shipping. Pack pretty good. All right, let's get this bad boy open. All right, so we got the plastic off of it. And it has a protection on the inside and the outside. Then the actual bumper is wrapped up inside of the cardboard all right we have it out the box and i'm assuming all this is for protection this white pottery stuff on there i'm assuming okay we have them side by side if you look Everything's pretty much the same. This is kind of heat'll fix that. My old bumper took a lot of damage and the ends broke off. So I probably put my old, old one on. And I just had the small lip, the original splitter. All right, so we got the bumper on, we got the stripes on. And uh, I went back to my old uh, 
first lip right now. That's why you still see the kind of some chips right here. So what I'm going to do now is put some of this on. I didn't have this stuff on before um, when I had this old spray on. So back in action. Got the stripes put back on. Got my old carbon splitter at the bottom put back on. And that was kind of hard to see. So here's the old bumper. new bumper and my old carbon splitter all right hope you enjoyed that video right there um, another thing is um I did ceramic coat my bumper too all right first things first I know a lot of people are going to be saying because they've been saying it for years Will, why don't you get the GT500 bumper? And I always say, because I have a California Special, and a California Special bumper is different than the um, GT500s, the Boss 302s, the GTs. They all had their own bumpers. And um, like I said, I've tried to keep the CS style, even with the spoiler in the back. And then like on my seats, I got it into my seat still too. So I was trying to keep that. And for all the mods I did in my car, if I wanted to get a GT500 bumper, I'd have did that years ago. But anyway, if I did a GT500 bumper, you gotta buy the radiator cover over again. You gotta buy the uh, upper grill, the lower grill, the, uh, the, the splitter at the bottom. And I'm sure that's probably about another two, three thousand dollars right there. If you look at the dealership, the California Special Bumper might be almost four or five hundred dollars just by itself. The GT500 Bumper, which is on back order, it's only like two hundred some dollars. Where I just don't like putting that money back in to the uh, front end again. I'd rather put that money into the engine or something like that. And one of the reasons I didn't do it back then was the GT500 grill and the GT grill, they might look the same, but it's a little different. And the one that True Fiber makes, it has the snake pattern on there. And I don't want that on there. I'm not trying to cover that up with you no know, GT emblems or whatever people do. I don't like that. So that's the reason I didn't do it years ago. So how do I feel about this eBay bumper? Um, I give it a thumbs up. It did the job, you know. I know sometimes when you get af cheap aftermarket parts, they might not fit good or whatever, whatever, like the original. But I give it a thumbs up on this fitment. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. I'm sorry that I had it. my phone set on the wrong settings and the screen came up like an old school TV in HD. But... It is what it is. So what I need you guys to do is hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. If you don't if you don't like this bumper, I shouldn't have got that bu bumper. Comment below. Should have got a GT500 bumper. Comment below. Anyway, don't drink and drive. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and all social medias at uh, this 50 go Till next time, peace. Oh yeah, I did win a trophy. Was it worth it?